Batman is one of the strongest humans around, having performed completely ridiculous feats that no human would survive, let alone pull off on a daily basis. But exactly how strong is Batman compared to your average human? The answer will give us some incredible insights into the character and lead us to Batman's greatest strength that often goes unnoticed. Batman is one of, if not my favorite superhero, since he trains himself to do everything he does and being self-made personifies a human capacity for learning, seeing how Batman has learned the equivalent of 12 PhDs worth of knowledge, but it's his physical stats that are even more insane when compared to even the greatest lifters and athletes on the planet. To give you an idea of how strong Batman is, Batman has been seen bench pressing unassisted anywhere from 405 pounds when sufficiently distracted to 585 pounds for multiple reps, which is pretty strong, but for reference, the current world record for an unassisted bench press is 722 pounds. Except in Batman issue 655, he is shown benching all the way up to 1,000 pounds, shattering the world record. In Batman Odyssey issue 2, Bruce mentions that his maximum leg press is 2,500 pounds as he leg presses a train apart, with the current world record for leg press being 2,469 pounds. Batman routinely deadlifts 620 pounds for 35 repetitions, which is an insane amount of reps for a person's body to withstand in a single training session along with having held a 1,000 pound ceiling in an overhead press, but way beyond that, Batman's squat is shown to be around 525 pounds for 5 repetitions of 10 sets, that's 50 squats in total, along with clean and jerk lifting 262 pounds 24 times, and running 20 miles, averaging 4 minutes and 50 seconds per mile, with an emphasis on cutting off 30 more seconds a mile on his rest day. Batman is so strong for a man of his weight class, being 210 pounds, that he routinely benches well over if not over double the weight for an elite lifter of his weight class, while squatting around 100 more pounds and deadlifting 40 more pounds for way more repetitions than a regular man dare would. This isn't to say that Batman doesn't have his limits. In the storyline Venom, after failing to save a little girl from drowning, Batman then began pushing himself to be able to handle heavier weights, as we see him failing to deadlift 630 pounds. But what's far more impressive is the physical feats that Batman has strengthened his body to accomplish, ranging from achievements that professional athletes could accomplish, all the way to something that only Batman himself is strong enough to do. Batman has literally ripped the door off of a speeding airplane in mid-flight, which takes more than 24,000 pounds of pressure, or 12 tons of pulling force, and is the equivalent of being able to pull the weight of 6 cars or 20 polar bears at once. Batman has lifted giants like Solomon Grundy who weigh over 500 pounds up over his head with one arm. He has been known to stop speeding cars using just his strength alone and even held up the entire Batmobile from falling off a bridge in 2004's The Batman. Insanely, he has worked out by dangling off the edge of a skyscraper doing one-armed pull-ups in 137 degree heat. Has held open a crocodile's mouth with crocodiles having the strongest bite ever measured at 3,000 700 pounds per square inch or 16,460 newtons, Batman has trained to be able to not only kick and thus explode entire trees in half, but as infamously analyzed in my previous Batman video, has moved so fast to outright dodge bullets that his body can accelerate at and withstand upwards to 845 times Earth's gravity, with astronauts commonly experiencing only 3 Gs during a rocket launch. But as cleverly pointed out by this community, Batman commonly dodges bullet fire by analyzing body movements and predicting when a trigger is about to be pulled, setting his acceleration to somewhere around 5 Gs, except in the case of Batman Under the Red Hood, where we do see Batman move after a bullet is fired from a gun towards him. But far more absurd is how strong Batman's body is at taking punishment. As in Batman Issue 15, he takes a direct blast from a bazooka and keeps fighting unfazed. Batman has been thrown and punched through concrete walls many times and even took a fall off Wayne Tower, falling multiple stories, but walked away each time. He's even survived being shot point blank by a frickin' tank, set on fire, electrocuted, frozen, and is strong enough to survive in Krypton's gravity, which has been depicted to be anywhere from 30 to 100 times greater than that of Earth's. Which is all the more insane when you realize that while human bones can take up to 90 times Earth's gravity, they can only withstand 10 times Earth's gravity when the person begins moving around. Not to mention your muscles 
muscles would most likely not be strong enough to move you anyways, as Batman, who weighs 210 pounds, would have to squat the equivalent of 6,300 or 21,000 pounds to stand up from a chair. But even more impressive is just how strong Batman's mind is. Batman issue 52, he is shown to have stumbled upon a sub-zero waterfall where he promptly undressed and stood underneath it completely unfazed. Or in Batman Volume 2, Issue 23, at the age of 24, he was able to fight for 28 hours straight in a never-ending gauntlet of opponents, where the fight only ended because Batman's will to never give up was enough to deter any more fighters from entering the contest. His IQ is stated to be a 13th level intellect, or what is about 200 IQ points, putting him above Stephen Hawking and Albert Einstein, whose IQs are estimated to be between 160 and 180, making the 8 languages and 127 martial arts styles he's mastered more believable, if not just a bit more. But what really shows just how mentally and physically strong Batman is, is a story that came to a climax in Batman issue 681, where Bruce hadn't slept for days, and found himself trapped underground in a coffin, while wearing a straitjacket that also had multiple locks on it, with about 30 minutes of air left. As I mentioned in an older video, but in much less detail, Bruce then flashbacks to his time in Nanda Parbat, where in order to completely hunt down and destroy any fears that were left in his mind, he underwent the Thogol Ritual, which was an extremely dangerous form of meditation derived from a Tibetan tradition that few had ever completed, where one is isolated in a cave for 49 days, and in Batman's case, a large boulder was placed in front of the entrance, where one simulates their death over and over, leading to their eventual liberation from death and rebirth. After completing the ritual, Batman remembers a meeting with a monk where he expressed that in order to protect his consciousness, he realized he could create a second personality as a backup. The monk replied that Bruce was remarkable, and expressed sorrow at having poisoned the tea he was drinking, and chuckled that he had two minutes left to live. Unfortunately for the monk, Bruce mentioned that not only had he inoculated himself against most toxins, but as a habit, he had also switched the monk's cup of tea and his own in the time that it took for the monk to blink. And Bruce had also held an antidote that neutralized the effects of any toxin that he wasn't resistant to. The average human eye blink lasts around one-tenth of a second or 100 milliseconds, meaning that Batman, assuming he had to reach anywhere from one to three feet in front of him, would have to move his hands anywhere from 6.8 to over 20 miles per hour to barely make it unnoticed. Which may not sound very impressive until we look at the reaction time required to time the monk's blink, as the best athlete's reaction times are usually between 120 and 160 milliseconds, with the world record being 101 milliseconds being too slow, making Batman easily have the best reaction time of any human. After this, we then see Batman, while having a concoction of drugs and Joker venom running through his system, bench press a heavy pine coffin lid through an additional 600 pounds of soil in a rainstorm. And it's looking at just how strong Batman is that gives us the greatest strength of this character. Looking at the grueling training that Batman pushes himself through is what makes him my favorite. He acquired his strength and skill through pure effort and training. He doesn't need a suit of armor or powers to be a complete monster. And this leads us to Batman's greatest strength. After years of traveling the world, educating himself under men that money could not buy, the greatest strength and genius of Batman is that it pretends to be realistic. Batman is absolutely insane and sometimes completely ridiculous, but the character has grown to be a symbol for how far you can push yourself, both mentally and physically, as oftentimes people fall short of the willingness to do what's necessary to obtain their goals, which is where the story of one incredibly determined man comes in, serving as a widespread example of how much your brain and body is capable of learning if you only dare to put in the effort to reach your goals. But if none of this was enough to convince you that Batman is a symbol of true human potential, then I saved my best piece of evidence for last. The human nervous system is incredible at learning and adapting to whatever you do, and in order to maximize his time, Bruce has pushed his nervous system to get used to polyphasic sleeping, where like Leonardo da Vinci, he only takes short naps throughout the day, sometimes lasting only 5 minutes to 1 hour, and has gotten his body used to going 80 hours with no sleep. Watch this video if you want to see how hard Batman can punch, and subscribe if you love learning cool things.